Hi guys, thanks for joining me, this Angel Demon. Today I'll be painting Candy and Cola, the Tentacle Bento Edition. It's a game by Soda Pop Miniatures, if you're interested. So I've already gone ahead and prepped and primed the figure. I've just gone ahead and placed her on a random Super Dungeon Explorer uh, mini base. Here I'll be using the Army Painters Wargamer Detail Brush. It's a really versatile uh, brush, great for painting miniatures. And I'm going to start off with the flesh, using uh, Dwarf Flesh by Citadel. And I've watered it down quite a bit. I'm just going to go ahead and paint all of her fleshy bits. As you can see, it is quite watered down. It's sort of translucent. And it's just going to give a light base. Now moving on to Violet Red by Vallejo Color for her hair. That's been watered down because I just want to try and avoid paint buildup as much as possible. And here we have a soft tone ink by the Army Painter and that's going to be used to kind of add a little shade and darken up the flesh. Here I decided to use Hydra Turquoise for the backpack. but. As I painted it, I found that it was a bit too dark, so I mixed up my own color. I made it a little bit warmer and a little bit more earthy green, kind of, I guess like a minty kind of green, maybe. Here I just diluted that mixed color with a bit of white to add all the highlights and everything like that on the backpack. And I watered it down quite a bit so that I can gradually build up color. I think it makes a much nicer effect than just slathering on the paint really thick and it lets you control the uh, gradient buildup of light and shadow and such onto the figure so that's what i'm just doing here and now i'm moving on to cola the little kitty cat fox bear i'm not really sure what he is i guess maybe a fox since he's orange in her backpack and for cola, I used um, Pumpkin Orange. It was a promo color released last October by Reaper. Now I'm going to take some basic skin tone by Vallejo Color, mix that in with the Dwarven Flesh, and gradually add some highlights to her flesh. And keep in mind, I've watered down all of my paints. It gives you much more control, but you don't want to water them too much. Uh, it's something you kind of learn and get a feel for. As you paint, if you water it down too much, the paint's not going to cover nicely, it's going to pool in areas. If you don't water it down enough, it's going to go on too thick and you're going to see paint lines and build up. You're not going to have much control over uh, gradually building up shadows or, or in this case, uh, highlights on the areas that you're painting. So when the paint's watered down, it stops you from getting these like really harsh lines from one color to the next. And basically, I want to make the areas that get more light to be brighter, and the areas that don't get as much light are, of course, aren't going to be as bright. I'm just going through all over anywhere there's flesh and adding on those highlights. Also, as I'm building up the layers, I'm lightening up the color a little bit so that it gradually gets brighter and brighter in the areas that I want to have more light hitting or just to be brighter. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna do the same thing with the face. I'm gonna try to leave some areas uh, showing through with the dark um, base color just so that it brings out the details of the face. Now we're going to skip ahead and I've already gone ahead and given a base coat of Hydra Turquoise to her skirt, and cuffs and tie and I'm going to start painting on the plaid. Now I didn't really think this through when I started and I probably should have started with the lighter color first but I knew I wanted to use the Hydra Turquoise and I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with her skirt. I did decide to go ahead and do a plaid so you might want to start with the lighter color. The other color is a uh, turquoise by, um, it's actually Caribbean Blue by Scale Color, and it's a really, really lovely shade, and I actually just lightened up that color to make the third lightest color. And basically to do the plaid, you want to give it um, three stripes, uh, two in the medium and one in the dark, and then for each row or stripe, you want to alternate squares of 
um, for the medium shade it's going to be the medium and light shade and then for the darker stripe you want to do the medium and the dark color in alternating squares and yeah so it gives it this really interesting plaid effect here I'm just cleaning up the squares and brightening them and whatnot just kind of touching up anywhere that needs touching up because this figure is so small that's about as far as you can take the plaid you're not gonna be doing any of the small little detailed lines or anything like that and here I decided to use my blue ink by army painter to um, add some uh, shading to her white blouse and it was looking okay but unfortunately when it dried it dried a lot darker than I wanted these inks seem to do that as I've noticed the more and more I use them they're really great inks don't get me wrong but keep in mind that they do seem to dry a bit darker than uh, when you apply them so yeah so basically I went ahead applied it and then I went through with some white and I just um, brought the white back on the blouse. So I gradually added on some white to add highlighting and you can see already that the blue got a lot darker. I figured it would look okay once I put on the white and it doesn't look too bad but I felt that it was just a bit too dark for what I was going for. So what I did is I mixed up uh, my own sort of ink wash color. So I put a bit of ice blue and the army painter ink together and then I just painted her whole blouse covering up all the white and the blue ink that I previously did. And then I went ahead with some more hydro turquoise and touched up all the uh, cuff and tie area to bring that back to its appropriate color before I went ahead um, here with some white and we're gonna return that blouse to the proper color that it's supposed to be. But this time it's gonna have very subtle um, shading rather than that really harsh ink because the blue is much lighter now. And I think it looks a lot better. I'm applying the white very, very lightly so that I can build it up and make it look brighter in the areas that are um, gonna get more light. That's the easiest way that I look at it when I'm painting. I mean, I'm not really an expert, and as you can see, I kind of wing things, try things out on the fly, and if it doesn't work, well, I change it up. And, <clears throat> excuse me. And, yeah, so I'm just building up the color, and I think it looked pretty good. Now on to her leggings. I decided to make them like a natural color. A lot of times you'll see white it used or black, but I felt because she's a schoolgirl, I think she would be much more subtle and natural and I just went with this um, very soft, almost taupe brown color and then I'm going to slowly lighten it up with some flesh to make it look like it's transparent because of course pantyhose stockings are transparent and you do see the flesh through them. The idea with painting these is I kind of envisioned where it was stretched out more it got lighter, so I kept that in mind while I was applying the, um, gradually building up that lighter flesh color. And as I built up the layers, I slowly started to lighten it up or add a bit more flesh tone to it so that it looked a little bit more transparent. But you don't want it to be straight up flesh because you still want it to look like she has those pantyhose on. Now moving on to the hair. For this color, I mixed up some of the Red Violet by Vallejo and some of the um, Breast Cancer Awareness Month pink color that um, Reaper Minis released in October. And I'm just gonna go through and give her all kinds of strands of hair, just kind of following the shape of the mini as best as I could and brightening it up. There is gonna be a lot of contrast, but don't worry because it all works out in the end. And she's an anime character, so you know, you can make the hair really funky and wild and crazy and it, it's just fine. Now I'm gonna paint on her headband in that same hydro turquoise as the rest of her uniform. Now I'm using straight up 
Breast Cancer Awareness Pink by Reaper Minis. And I'm gonna add some, I guess, highlights to her hair. So it's gonna go from like, you know, really, really bright pink to um, kind of a purple pink color. And then it's got that red violet for the uh, shading. And again, I skip ahead. I've done a little bit of the detail work on her face. It was really way too hard to show this on camera. I will try to maybe set something up differently, but for now, as you can tell, my setup wasn't necessarily the best. I'm still figuring out camera positions and whatnot to paint. But I went and I did her eyes, and I gave her a bit of blush on her cheeks. Um, I gave her a bit of color in her lips, and I actually painted on an eyebrow up there. So, as you can see, moved ahead again with some details. To get the hair like that, all I did was apply some Vallejo color in magenta. It's magenta fluo, and this is like, I don't know if it's because mine isn't mixed up, but it's a really semi-transparent color. I mixed it with a bit of water and just put a wash all over the hair, or just put like a thin coat of paint all over the hair, and it gave it that really nice, vibrant neon pink color. Then I did some highlighting and detail work on Cola in the back. I painted up his eyes and his little cheeks. To do his cheeks, I used the Breast Cancer Awareness Pink and then, again, the Magenta Fluo by Vallejo over top of it so they really pop. And I painted his little soda bottle in, uh, I believe it was ice blue, and then I gave it a wash of ink, a blue ink from the Army Painter. And I painted his scarf red from Vallejo color. It's a really, really pretty color. I wanted Candy's loafers to look like leather, so I used Formula P3 paints in Rucksack Tan as the base coat. And then I just used the soft tone ink. It's a very soft brown ink to um, just kind of fill in all the details and give some shading to her loafers. It's a really easy technique and I think it gives them a really nice um, worn leather look. And that's about all there is to it. That's how I decided to paint my Candy and Cola Tentacle Bento Edition. Uh, I know I zipped through everything really fast, so if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. I love hearing from you guys. I love feedback. Um, I'm not saying, you know, that this is the way to do things. It's just the way that I did things. Um, yeah. Well guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends. And don't forget to leave me a comment because I do love hearing from you guys. Bye guys.